The Italian brand Off-White is not even 10 years old, and it has already won the love of millions of people around the world and overtook Balenciaga and Gucci in popularity. Affordable sneakers, t-shirts and designer print hoodies in modern perusal worn by Rihanna, Kanye West, Justin Bieber, Bella Hadid and other celebrities. The collections are based on the basic things of the usual cut, but in modern perusal with ironic details and graphic patterns. Clothes for guys in the hood, as the founding father of off-white Virgil Abloh liked to repeat, an American designer who brought street style to the world of high fashion and made it premium. The example of the lightning-fast takeoff of Off-White showed that you can win the love of a generation not only with the glorious history of the brand and the atmosphere of a heavy premium, but also with concise things and an interesting interpretation. The brand fundamentally abandoned the fashionable diktat and stopped telling customers what to wear and how to properly combine things. Virgil Abloh let people decide it on their own, spurring their creative spirit. Customers appreciated the freedom provided and repaid for this with boundless loyalty. Let's go. Hey. Yeah, this is my life, my strife, my right to fight, to die, oh. And this is my game to play, to claim a brand new name, oh. In 2021, 41-year-old Virgil died in the prime of creative forces from cancer, which he secretly fought the last years of his life. The management of the company was assumed by his wife Shannon. Virgil Abloh was born in Illinois in 1980. His parents moved to the United States from Ghana. The family belonged to the American middle class, which determined Abloh's further education. He received an engineering and architect degree, which forever formed his sympathy for clear lines and strict fronts, including in clothes. At the same time, Abloh's ethnic roots manifested themselves in his love of music, especially to hip-hop and all sorts of underground, which flourished in the 1990s. For the rest of his life, the designer drew inspiration from underground culture and idolized Belgian designer Raph Simons, who was for him like Louis Witten for many others. During an internship at the Fendi Fashion House, the young engineer met the famous rapper and designer Kanye West, and a year later began to work for him as a creative director. Virgil later admitted that for a long time he was desperately looking for friendship with West, and even deliberately soaked up in the area where he usually held rehearsals. This friendship subsequently played a huge role in promoting Off-White, because West often appeared on social networks and at creative parties in the brand's clothes, and instilled love for him in his wife Kim Kardashian and her numerous famous family. However, the rocky start in the fashion world was another brand for Abloh. In 2012, he created the Pyrex Vision clothing brand. In fact, it grew out of merch, invented by a collective of like-minded musicians, which also included Abloh. The scheme was simple and reliable, with Virgil buying basic t-shirts, polo and hoodies from the old Champion and Ralph Lauren collections, applying designer prints of his own production to them and selling for $550 instead of $40 or $60. The audience appreciated the clothes, but Abloh's trick with reselling other people's things at exorbitant prices was not to everyone's taste. A year later, the Pyrex Vision brand closed, either under the yoke of criticism or at the initiative of Abloh himself. He said that he never considered this brand as something for centuries. She was just an experiment, but now it's time for a really interesting brand that will bring something new to the fashion world. In 2013, he opened the Off-White headquarters in Milan. Eblu settled on the Italian fashion capital for two reasons. First, he dreamed of making democratic streetwear, but with a high level of tailoring and from excellent fabrics. Secondly, he wanted to revive the refined Milanese world with street fashion, to bring a little American lifestyle to it. Although the prices of clothes in off-white stores were akin to luxury, American guys from the hood would hardly afford it. In response to accusations of overpricing, Eblu responded something like this. Don't let Zara and Uniqlo to mislead you. It's not fashion. The popularity of the brand was facilitated not only by Abloh's friendship with celebrity and post-ironic author's prints, but also by a kind of fusion of genres. On the one hand, Ebloo made street clothes in which, in ordinary life, semi-criminal guys with hip-hop in their headphones could roam the streets of the United States. 
On the other hand, Virgil created not consumer goods, but high-quality, perfectly sewed products with character which he sold at high prices. He explained the philosophy of his brand as follows. Couture dominated fashion, and suddenly Saint Laurent appeared with his ready-to-wear clothes. Hey, sensation, no one wears couture. The same situation is now with street style and high fashion. The name of the brand is somewhat about it, which is sometimes mistakenly associated with African-American aesthetics. In fact, it has nothing to do with it. Off-white is the middle between black and white, something beyond the extremes, something between street and high fashion, specified in an interview the founder of the brand. By the way, he liked to schedule interviews in a taxi on the way to or from the airport. This was all due to Ablo's incredible workability and workload. In a few days, he could attend a show of his new collection in Paris, fly to open a store in Hong Kong, perform with his own DJ set at some closed party, and catch his friend Kanye West's concert. He never let go of his smartphone and literally lived on Instagram, the development of which he himself led. He often looked for employees there and generally considered it the main platform for promoting his brand. We made ourselves known on social networks instead of Vogue which for many years was considered the main platform for new faces in fashion. Off-White originated and developed on the streets and in the back streets of social networks, told the fashion designer in an interview with GQ magazine. He also preferred to create clothes on a smartphone. During many hours of transatlantic flights, one item usually takes me no more than 10 minutes, spoke Ablu. The brand began as a purely male, but already in 2014, Virgil Abloh released the first collection for women, and he did not lose. The female audience also wanted fashionable and high-quality clothing in the style of street casual and vividly responded to its appearance. Moreover, the aesthetics of oversize and unisex close to street fashion fell perfectly on a new ethics, against objectification and imposed beauty standards, the reassessment of which gradually began in the fashion industry. Fans of the brand already understood that femininity is not limited to a busty dress from Dolce & Gabbana. You can remain feminine and sexy in a black sweatshirt, with graphic stripes on your sleeves. And if such recognized sex symbols as Beyoncé and Naomi Campbell do not disdain this, then ordinary mortal women will certainly not be prevented from bringing a little freedom and street chic from off-white to their wardrobe. Already in 2014, Off-White made it to the final of the prestigious LVHM Award for young designers. In 2017, the brand entered the top three most popular brands in the world, according to the Business of Fashion Rating, and sometime later it completely topped the list of popular brands according to the List platform, replacing Balenciaga and Gucci. At the same time, many critics of fashion agree that the brainchild of Virgil Abloh did not bring anything revolutionary to the fashion industry and often criticized the brand for imitation and secondary. There were even a few major scandals where the American designer was accused of plagiarism. And yet, the brand appeared at the right time and fit perfectly into a culture of postmodernism and rethinking the principles of high fashion. Take at least the famous quotation marks in which Off-White encloses most of the inscriptions on its clothes. From the point of view of the founder of the brand, quotes create uncertainty and leave freedom for interpretation, which liberates the creative energy of someone who wears such clothes. Off-White is known for the culture of calling objects, up to the grotesque. At various times, the brand produced laces with the inscription Laces and a black dress that read Black Dress. And one of the brand's landmarks is the unthinkable two-meter black and yellow belt, such a strange object that at first people did not understand what to do with it. Off-White even had to release a special video explaining how to wear it. Another feature of the brand is successful and numerous collaborations with other brands. Off-White has partnered with Levi's, Ikea, Timberland, Montclair, Supreme, Converse, and of course Nike. The latter brand is singled out separately because cooperation with it has become the longest and most fruitful. Off-White updated 10 Nike sneakers in 2017 with the legendary The 10 Collection. It consisted of two parts. The first is simpler and more accessible. The second is for true fashionistas, with a transparent top. It's more than sneakers, Ebler wrote in a press conference about the collection. These 10 pairs have broken down barriers in the world of performance and style. For me, they stand on a par with David's statue and Mona Lisa. You can argue with it as much as you like, but they mean something, and this is the most important thing. 
The collection was a resounding success. At retail, the sneakers cost $200, and a few days later, resellers were already selling them for $1,000. In 2018, sneakers from the Nike and Off-White collaboration were voted the most popular sneakers of the year, ahead of both the Ugly Triple S from Balenciaga and Kanye West's new Yeezy Boost. In all collaborations, Virgil Abloh adhered to a common strategy. He took the classic silhouettes of the partner brand as a basis and added a pinch of off-white style to them. Today, there are more than 20 off-white monobrand stores open worldwide. Clothing is also sold in the world's top department stores. Abloh personally oversaw the opening of each store and even designed some of them himself. This was all due to his architect profession. Moreover, in 2018, he received an offer to become a Louis Vuitton menswear consultant. The case is unthinkable, given that Ablo had no formal design training, and as we all know it, the French high fashion in such matters is very scrupulous. Virgil Ablo's death at the end of 2021 was a huge loss for the fashion world. However, his brainchild continues to live, currently under the guidance of his widow Shannon. Soon we will see how Off-White develops. In the meantime, Shannon Ablo announced the creation of a foundation in memory of her late husband and promised that the brand would preserve the aesthetics created by Virgil. In anticipation of new collections, millions of fans can only hope that it will be so.